Disclaimer, this video I made for real newbies, and in case if you already have some music experience, then you can go and watch any other tutorial. But in case if you just start your music path, in that case, watch this video till the end, and that would be super helpful for you. But before we go further, hit the subscribe and like buttons. That would be super helpful for me. Hey everyone, my name is Misha and I'm a DJ producer and Ableton Live Mentor. Today I would like to discuss with you the topic of a groovy drums and how to make them of any kind of rhythm. So yeah, today we will talk about the secret recipe of the groovy drums. Music. First of all, let's take any drum kit for our purpose. Okay, how about this one? Dragging and drop it into an empty track, creating a clip and let's start. So now I'm going to make any random pattern. Let's listen to it. Sounds like a porridge. So how to make a groovy drums out of that kind of porridge. And the main secret here is to add a straightforward rhythm section. What do I mean by that? A straight rhythm is a rhythm where the distance between subsequent notes is the same in time. Example, let's try to do it with our kick drum. So as you see here, the distance between every next kick drum is a similar one. And we have an obvious groove right away. But in case if you feel that this groove is not enough, you can keep adding more instruments with the same kind of distance between them. For example, that could be clap or snare. Let's bring it here and here, second and four. Let's go. Easy as it is, but also it's still not groovy enough. So now I'm going to add one more instrument and of course it will be hi-hat. Let's listen. Well, doesn't really sound like a hat, but anyway, maybe we can find a head here. Yes. And as I said earlier, you can do it out of any kind of instrument. Of course, what we receive right now is the most kind of standard rhythm section that is suitable for house, techno, or any other electronic genre. If you feel like this rhythm is not working well enough, you can keep adding some simple straight rhythms. Let's try to do it with any other instrument. Okay, this instrument sounds super noisy. So let's change to another one. And in case if you want to make it even more groovy than it is right now, of course, we have to remember about velocity. So now we make it even more groovy. But what if we want to make it even more groovy than it is? Of course we can. We can add one more or two or three more different instruments. But in that case, uh, it might sound a bit too robotic. So I could say that it's always about finding the right proportion between the amount of the straightforward instruments and also between the amount of kind of random instruments. And uh, the most standard way of adding the straight rhythm instruments is to add such instruments like kick, snare, hi-hat. In this case, this technique will work on its best way.
And of course, you won't go to a music prison in case if you will do that kind of straight rhythms between any other instruments, but that's just the most standard way to do them. In case if you feel that your rhythm is too broken and you feel like it might be too complicated to dance or to catch the rhythm, just add one or a few more straightforward rhythms. In that case, for people, it will be a way more easy to understand how to move or dance with your groove. By the way, that technique also works not only for the drums, but you can make even uh, melodies and bass lines out of it. For example, imagine that you made a really broken bass line. In that case, you can try to find a balance that I was talking about. Uh, you can try to make a super straight melody then. Let's take a look to the example related melody and the bass line. Let's draw a bass line, uh, super easy. Random bass line. Let's listen to it together. So this bass line sounds broken. And in case if we want to make it a bit more understandable for everyone, we should add a straight element to it. And now let's make a melody. Now let's listen everything together. Let's remove all of the straight instruments out of our tune. Okay, so this one, let's mute kick drum. Sounds like a porridge, right? And now let's start, uh, let's start returning back all of our straightforwarded elements. Right away is a way more easy to to move with that kind of with that kind of sound. And groove is coming. Simple as it is. Music. That's it. And in case if you would like to see more videos like this, the best decision is to hit the like button down below and to leave me a comment with the topic that you are interested in. If you would love to learn more, I also run daily music production classes and you can drop me a message on my Instagram to know more information about it. See you soon. Music.